Ugh, racing games. Why do I review so many of these? <sighs> What's on the agenda today? No, this looks so bad. The title's so long, too. We're going to take a look at the demo for Walt Disney World Quest Racing Tour for the PlayStation. Now, I know there were a ton of Mario Kart ripoffs out there. Crash Bandicoot even got to it with Crash Team Racing, and that was a phenomenal game. But this demo for a Disney racer? Nah, man, this just ain't it. First off, of all the recognizable Disney characters they could have put into a racing game, the most recognizable people are Jiminy Cricket and Chippendale. Like, really? Is that the best they could do? Is that the best ensemble they could gather? I mean, Nintendo has a phenomenal cast of characters to put in their Mario Kart games, and Crash Bandicoot had a decent lineup, but Disney had the capability for such a great lineup, but they just whiffed. So on to the actual racing itself, and it's not really too great. I mean, the controls just seem stiff. Like, really stiff. I'm trying to make these turns as tight as possible, and I'm not doing a great job of it. This is further complicated by the extreme drifting in this demo. I mean, kart games typically have a drifting mechanic to make the racing more action-oriented to create some sort of skill gap between racers. But the drift is really sharp. It's almost like a right angle. I'll be drifting, and then when I let go of the drift button, the kart gets this extreme grip and goes in the direction my cart was facing so it's not a great smooth transition as soon as I let off that button it's just boop, right in the wrong direction and the power-ups are underwhelming too I mean in any cart race you'd expect power-ups to be a major factor in someone having to make a comeback or something but no I got behind early and there was no way for me to make up that time none of the power-ups seemed memorable to me I mean there was an acorn and you turned into a frog at some point the coins weren't really doing much for me either, I'm not really sure what they were for. And going off script here for a little bit, I remember there was a speedometer in the right hand side of the screen that you could switch to. Why would you have a speedometer in a kart racer? You don't need to know how fast you're going to take a certain turn, you're basically flooring it the entire time. I can see why you need a speedometer in a simulation racing game so that you can time your turns, but you don't need that in a kart racer. What's the point of the speedometer? It doesn't make any sense. And to finish off talking about how terrible this demo was, the only track I could race on had this small area that I drift boosted into that I got stuck in for like three minutes. And it wasn't easy to get out of. There just shouldn't be areas on the track that are just their own little alcoves that you get stuck in. Like, this just looks like a really rushed together demo. I'm throwing this one in a C tier. It wasn't an embarrassment like the Teletubbies, but it just felt like a waste of time. It's just a really cheap Mario Kart knockoff game. I mean, I've seen some cheap Mario Kart knockoff games like the Burger King one, but this one's just... It's just down there. <sighs> I can't believe I wasted like half an hour playing this game and then like another hour trying to put together this video, writing a script, doing all the stuff that I do to make a video. Hope it was worth it to watch though. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next review soon.